Daigo Dojima, Taiga Saijima, and Goro Majima, huh? <laughs> yeah, add Kiryu-san to the mix and you've got yourself a Yakuza Hall of Fame. Yeah, maybe in the sense that we're all retired. So you're going, right? To see him, I mean? Yeah, I'm leaving now. Is that a fact? I don't know if you meant this, but, uh, you don't think you're flying solo, do you? Like that, it'd help. Come on now, Kiryu-san. Someone's gotta watch your ass. Not exactly how I'd have worded it, but he's right. We're in this together. Thanks, guys. Gonna be a long trip. Let's make sure we're ready. Ho-ho! Yeah. You got time, right? Want to hang out with us? There's a great little spot nearby. My treat, of course. Um, no, thank you. I really have to get going. Hey, hang on a sec. There's no need to act like that, is there? What are you even doing over here? You looking for a sugar daddy? Uh, not at all. I just got lost and... Hey, come on. Like we buy that? Now, let's make some memories. What do you say? Someone help! Please! Get your hands off her. Touch Shizuko again, you're dead. <laughs> Yo, what? Who the fuck is he? Wait, you know my name? <sighs> you're out of your league, now get lost. I won't wait around forever. This guy's a freak. Hey, are you good, man? Let's bail. We won't forget this! You old fuck! <laughs> Damn kids. Um, thank you so much! Hmm? Oh, no, no. Uh, don't mention it. Take care. Um, sir? I wanted to ask. Hear you, son? Right? 
It's you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it is you. I know it. The same Kiryu who introduced me to Michioku. <laughs> oh, wow. To think we'd meet in a place like this. It's been so long, Mr. Kiryu. Uh, yeah. Uh, been a while, Shizuko. Uh, all this time you still remember, huh? As if I could ever forget? Far as I'm concerned, you saved my life. Your life? It's true. I've been wanting to see you again, Kiryu-san. Kiryu-san, this is such a nice surprise. Really, I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. You were just a kid last time I saw you. Sure enough, you became a young lady. No, not even close. I'm still just a high schooler. So back then, I take it the surgery went well? Yes, sir. The doctor did everything just right, and rehabilitation went well too. Now I'm better than ever. I got my life back, and I have you to thank for it. But I didn't do anything. No, you really did. I was terrified of surgery, but then you brought Michio-kun to see me. Thanks to Michio-kun, I finally had the courage. Without that, well, I might never have... <sighs> Things might have gone different. Truly, you and Michio-kun changed my life. I've wanted to say thanks ever since, for all you did. Trouble was, I had only met you once, and never learned anything else about you. It's been my one big regret. I'm so happy I got this chance, more than I can say. Yeah, honestly, I'd often worry about your surgery. Thanks to today, I don't have to. <laughs> well, I never guessed you lived in Tokyo. <laughs> no wonder I couldn't find you in Onomichi. That reminds me, why are you in Kamurocho? Did you move away recently? I did. Actually, I'm studying to become a doctor. Just recently, I got accepted into a special school. So with that, my family moved out here. A doctor? <laughs> That's wonderful. If I become one, that is. My classmates are so smart. I have a hard time keeping up. Still, it's my hope I'll save someone's life someday. I'll help them, just like my doctor helped me. So with that, I'll keep on studying. I'm gonna make this dream of mine come true. You've really grown up, Shizuko. And it's a great dream. Keep going, and I'm sure you'll get there. Right! And hey, if you ever get sick, look me up. I'll help you get better. <laughs> you never know. Hey, thanks. If that happens, I don't know who to call. Okay! Uh, well, should we get going? If I recall, you've got somewhere to be, right? I'll walk you. People aren't too friendly around here. Okay! Thank you so much! For the future, try not to come here alone again, okay? Yes, sir. I got lost, is all. I'll remember not to walk around Kamurocho by myself. Your keychain? It's Onomichio. Guess you're still a fan, huh? Of course! It's like I always say, I'm gonna marry him someday. Yeah, I remember you said that even way back. So it's become a doctor and marry Michio, huh? <laughs> Personally, I think you can find someone better. But why? Michio-kun's so funny and gentle and strong. <laughs> what more could you want in a husband? Nah. Truth be told, he's a handful. He's also stubborn, clumsy, and awkward to a fault. Um... Hear you, son? Hmm? This may be kind of forward, but... Uh, the man in the Michio-kun costume back then... Was that...? There you are. Been looking for you, old man. Thought I'd pay back what I owe you. Figure with my buds here, 
I'll add a little interest. Mm, hear you, son? Just hang back, Shizuko. You're safe with me. But wait, if you get hurt... If it means protecting you, a couple scratches is more than worth it. Hey, now, what's this? You gonna run for it, huh? You're gonna wish I had. But sorry, no. I'd never embarrass myself in front of a kid. I'm not holding back. If you've got a death wish, take your best shot! Show me what you got! Let's do it. Something wrong? Get serious. You think you can win? In for the Who kill! Who wants to go? You asked for it. What's this a <laughs> Yeah. Kiryu-san, are you alright? Yeah. Believe me, that was nothing. Are you okay, Shizuko? Thanks to you, Kiryu-san, you saved me. Like you did last time. Great. Anyway, let's go. Y y yes sir. Thanks so much for everything today. You even showed me around. <laughs> Nonsense. Happy to do so. Please. I want you to have this. My way of saying thanks. Use it, wear it, whatever you like. <laughs> And look, Kiryu-san, we even match. You sure I can have this? It's pretty special to you, isn't it? Oh, no worries. I have like 50 of those at home, so it's fine. Kind of excessive, don't you think? <laughs> but thanks. I want you to know I have nothing but gratitude for you, Kiryu-san. Look at me, I'm no good. I might be older now, but I'd probably be dead without you. I just keep taking and never give back. Kiryu-san, forgive me. I wish there was more I could do for you. Shizuko, you've done enough. Huh? I said you've done enough. In fact, today I got more than I could have ever asked for. The little girl I once knew, she shivered at the thought of surgery. Now here she is, all grown up, chasing her dream and making every day count. Might come as a surprise, but do you know how much courage you've given me? Kiryu son. Trust me, you're gonna be a great doctor. As long as you don't give up, I know you'll make it happen. So keep at it. Do your best. Eventually, when you see people suffering like you once did, you'll know how to help. And remember this I'll always be rooting for you. And you're a special friend, Michio kun? I'm sure he feels the same way. <laughs> so long, Shizuko. Take care of yourself. Um, Kiryu-san? Hmm? Well, I just... Thank you, Somichi. <laughs> Back at you. Thank you, Somichi.
Thank you, Kiryu-san. No. Michio-kun. Date, Kiryu. You remember the place I brought you to the other night? Yeah, I think so. Come by when you're free. I'm drinking all alone at the bar. Okay, but pace yourself till I get there. <laughs> Don't keep me waiting too long, then. Might overdo it. it's being renovated not surprising this town's always had a high turnover rate oh for shine same name as that club I helped out in Sotombori way back when we nearly went under because of a rival club at least until I stepped in as their manager it was tough work but still a great experience I haven't seen Yuki, Koyuki, and Yoda-san since then. Hope they're doing well. But if this joint's got the same name... Hmm. Did they open up a new location? Um, excuse me. Did you need something? <sighs> Not good. Wait, have we met before? N no, I think you've got the wrong guy. Uh, take care. Hmm? 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 Uh, do you need something? Oh my gosh! It's Kiryu-san! You just vanished into thin air one day! I thought you kicked the bucket somewhere! You really ought to show your face more often! But wow, it's so good to see you! How's it going? Uh, it's been going. What about you, Koyuki? You doing okay? Is this the same Forshine? Sure is! Forshine, the hottest cabaret club in Osaka, is coming to Kanto! In fact, we're gonna have our grand opening soon! Oh yeah? That's great. So how's business? Doing well? Well, uh, no. Not really. Yo, you consign clowns still haven't hit the road yet? Look, you people are the problem here. Outsiders can't just waltz on in and pop up a club whenever, wherever they want. That's not how we roll in Kamarocho. You hear me? You old hags got no place here. How many times we gotta tell you that, Koyuki-san? Ugh, here we go again. Hmm? Who's he? Some guy from one of the rival clubs. He doesn't like that we set up shop here, so he's been harassing us. Thanks to him, there are some nasty rumors going around. And to make matters worse, a few of our girls got scared off and quit. Ugh, that man's nothing but trouble. Come on now, we just want to settle things peacefully. But if you insist on running a club here, we're gonna have to insist you comply with our ways, alright? And this conversation's over. Honestly, I'd rather die than take orders from you. Rude bitch. Fine then. I'll just have to beat them into you myself. And how are you gonna do that? Who the hell are you? One of their hires. And as far as I know, Kamurocho doesn't roll any which way. You've got no right to mouth off about how things work around here. Right back at you, old man. Whatever. 
Guess we'll have to beat your ass first. I'm gonna send all of you packing. You'll wish you never set foot in my city. Bring it on. Let's do it. What's the whole get serious? <laughs> Who wants to go? You picked fight. the wrong opponent. <sighs> There's more where this came from. Oh, is this guy eating? He's way too strong. Now beat it. Come back here, and you deal with me. You won't catch me here again. I'm so sorry about that. You helped me out of a tough spot there. The same as ever. <laughs> right, Kiryu-san? No, not necessarily. Anyway, before we were so rudely interrupted, I was just about to ask you to come on in for some tea. Step this way, please. Right behind you. Real spacious here. Not bad. <laughs> we pretty much took over the previous club. It's a great spot and all, so we went ahead and rented it out. So, what happened to Forshine after I left? Well, after you made Forshine the number one club in Sotenbori, Yuki-san, Yoda-san, and I worked as a team to keep it that way. And for 15 years, we were the best of the best in all of Kansai. Impressive, right? <laughs> sure is. Much harder to stay up top than to get there. Then, why are you here in Kamurocho, now of all times? Actually, I discussed branching out with Yuki-san and Yoda-san, but you know them. Not a greedy bone in their bodies. They didn't want to risk the club's quality dropping either. But after they retired, I was the one who ended up in charge. I figured, since I'm taking their place and all, maybe I ought to try something new, you know? I see. So Koyuki, the new owner on the block, wanted to give the Kanto expansion a shot. 
Well, it didn't have to be Kanto, honestly. I just really love Four Shine, and I want to share it with people outside of Kansai, too. The girls back in Sotenbori are golden. They don't need me there to run the club. That's why I thought I should challenge myself. Do something only the owner could do. That's great. I'm not surprised you went for it, given how much you cherish the place. Thank you. <laughs> Still, I never knew how tough it is to run a business. It's so different from serving the customers. There are way too many factors to take into account and no end to trouble, like that guy from earlier. To think Yuki-san and Yoda-san have been doing this for years. Huh. I can't help but respect them even more. It was one heck of a wake-up call. I had no idea so many people were looking out for us hostesses in ways we never even knew. Well, now that you realize that, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Sorry for dropping in at such a busy time. Oh no, you're perfectly fine. To be honest, I wish you'd stay. Having you as the manager would be a huge weight off my shoulders. Hey now, you're gonna put me to work again? <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm serious about being short-staffed, though. We've lost a few of our girls to some threats, and some of our staff have even been headhunted. <sighs> it's gotten me kind of down recently. I guess some things never change, no matter the times. But why not ask the Sotombori Club for help? I mean, I could, but the girls there are really popular. And since we'll be opening soon, I doubt I could adjust everyone's schedule in time. Hmm. Then why don't you ask Yuki for help? She used to be the legendary hostess, didn't she? Yeah, she'd really turn things around. <laughs> if I could even bring myself to ask. What's happening with Yuki? Yuki-san's out there making her own dreams come true and trying something new. And what's that? Running a restaurant. She used the money she saved up from her hostess days to start it up. <sighs> Told me herself that she's been super busy since it took off. I just felt like I couldn't bother her with my problems. <sighs> Not when she's got enough on her plate. And I'd feel real bad disturbing her if she's on track to success. <sighs> wouldn't want to drag her down or anything. That, and uh, I can't keep crawling to Yuki-san for help. I need to handle this on my own. Ow, no, ow, ow. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It's just because I've been buried in work, my stomach's not feeling too great. Don't push yourself too hard, all right? So, Yuki's got a new place, huh? What kind of restaurant is it? She hasn't told me much about it. All I know is that she set up shop in Yokohama in a corner of a building that's got a lot of bars. Sounds like Eugene Cho. It probably is. Given the location and how she was the legendary hostess, I'm sure she's running a bar or something. I wish I could swing by, but since this is a new venture for her, I'd feel like I'd be a bother if I showed up. Well, I'm actually staying in a Jinjo right now. Oh, wow! Small world! You should drop in and say hi then! That'd totally make Yuki-san's whole day! I mean it! Go! Hmm? Uh, alright. Cool! Let me know how it is! And if she's worried about the club, just tell her everything's going fine and to focus on her place. Got it. I'll, uh, pass on the message. Thanks so much, and I hope you can stop by for our grand opening, Kiryu-san. Five the time, I will. I know things are tough right now, but don't overdo it. That's always been a bad habit of yours. Right, I'll keep that in mind. But still, I'm really happy I got to see you again. And I'm real proud of how much you've grown, Koyuki. I'll catch you later. All right.
Yep. It's cold. How long have we been on the road? Hey, you could have always stayed back in Yokohama, you know. <laughs> well, maybe. If I'd have known we were gonna take the scenic route. No kidding. Still, Kiryu-san's probably better off with a friend or two. So there's that. Hmm. <laughs> Agreed. Looks like it's gonna snow. Sorry about this. None of the taxis were willing to make the trip. Uh, no surprise there. Long distance is a gamble for them. You need someone who will hitch a ride back, and where we're going, those are few and far in between. Rare sight to behold, honestly. Not many people would want to go up this way. You might even be the first. How come? You guys work in television or something? No. Just visiting a couple of old friends. It's been a long time. The Second Great Dissolution is the only way to dissolve the remaining Yakuza groups within the country. Perhaps to Ebina, it's just a means to an end, but to Arakawa, it was his dying wish. Knowing that, I swallowed my pride and left prison to see it through. However, Ebina's taken more control of the Seriyu clan than I could have imagined. He's got me under 24-7 surveillance, no matter what I do. I can't even be alone unless I take measures like this. If we're really going to pull this off, I need reinforcements. Reinforcements? Yes. That includes you, Kiryu-san. If you'll permit me to do so. Granted, I understand your situation's tricky. I can't ask you to step back into the limelight. Certainly not at the moment. Now then, this may come off as rude, but instead, I'd like to ask you a favor. What is it? Daigo Dojima, Goro Majima, and Taiga Saijima. Three of the most legendary Yakuza of all time. If anyone can help the second dissolution, it's them. You want me to ask them? Yes. I believe we need their influence in order to fulfill Arakawa's will. And rightly this time. After the disbanding of the Tojo and the Omi, its former members established a security company out in Osaka. It was a refuge for old Yakuza who'd lost their way. But for all their efforts, the company went under after just a year. Since then, Daigo-san and the others have disappeared. Well, sorry to say, but I don't know where they... Even if you can't contact them, you must have some idea where they might have gone, yes? <sighs> You're not the type to leave them alone for good. You're the only person who could drag them back out into the open. Please, I don't have anywhere else to turn. I do know that they disappeared. However, I'm not really sure why. So, guess we start from there. Sorry, guys. In case it wasn't clear, I'll be out for a few days. Mm. Old friends, huh? Gosh, these fellas must be pretty eccentric. Don't mean to be rude, but <laughs> no one in their right mind would live out there. No, sir. Who knows? I'm sure they've got their reasons. Reasons, sure. Well, give it two, maybe three more hours on the road. Oh, there's that snow. Better bundle up, friend. <laughs>
I'm sure you guys have a lot to talk about. We'll hang out here. Appreciate it. One thing? Maybe try to make it quick. The sooner we get out of this cold, the better. Sure. You know, it may be a shack, but it's still home. Maybe try knocking. Little manners will go a long way, after all. Shit. You're getting old, Kiryu-chan. Time will do that, Majima-san. Son. A lot's happened. Guess that goes for all of us, eh? Yeah. Well, <laughs> grab a seat. Least we can do is pour you a drink. Haven't seen you since the dissolution. It's been four years already. Last I'd heard, you had a security company out in Sotambori. <laughs> had. And hey, look where we are now. What about you, Kiryu-san? You doing okay these days? You don't look yourself, if I'm being honest. Actually, that's no surprise. I've got cancer. They gave me half a year. <sighs> you what? <sighs> okay. <laughs> Even the dragon, huh? Guess no one's safe. Guess not. Well, if you're short on time, might as well drink up. Doubt Hell's got a good selection. Majima-san, the man's dying for pity's sake. It's all right, Daigo. Might be crude, but he's not wrong. Better to enjoy things while I can. Long as I'm still here, I'll keep pushing along. Well, better not waste your time with us, then. Fine. What happened to you? How'd you all end up here? Who cares about us? This is no place for someone in your condition. You need to be back in the city. I'll get you a car. Daigo. Honestly, you think you'd learn by now. <sighs> you think Kiryu-chan here's gonna listen to that? <sighs> it's been so long. I'd almost forgotten. <laughs> really, I suppose this is just like old times. So, you wanna know what happened? Is that it? The world happened, that's what. We lost. Settle in, because this'll take a minute. Now, when we set up the company, we knew from day one there'd be risks involved. I mean, this happened right after we dissolved two major clans. How could there not be? We knew we'd get people's attention, especially since we were all former Yakuza. Knowing you, I'll bet you tried to mitigate that. Of course. Naturally, I tried to take every precaution possible beforehand. I used all our connections from both the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance. Talked with the media and the higher-ups. Granted, those things don't come for free. Close to 70,000 lives were on the line, and the five-year ex-Yakuza clause would have swallowed them whole if not for that. I did what I felt was necessary. I'm not here to tell you whether you made the right choices. There's only one thing I want to know. 
Where did it go wrong? Well, things were great at the beginning. Gradual as it was, we built a fairly large clientele. I mean, plenty of businesses need protection, and we had the men for the job. When it came to reintegrating criminals back into society, it seemed like we were doing just about everything right. All that said, after the first year, we started seeing some issues. Something with the employees come up? No. Online accusations. A popular channel did a feature on our company. Thanks to that, all of our ex-Yakuza employees were exposed. They even aired out the backdoor deals I'd made with the government and media. Hang on. This channel, it wasn't... The Tatara channel. <laughs> Who else? Same one that hit Kasuga. And it wasn't just the deals. It was everything. They got their hands on every scandal they could find. They stretched the truth paper thin, and we ended up taking the heat. Maybe. But even with all the stretching, we still did what we did to get ahead. In light of that, there wasn't much we could say in our defense. Before long, our customers started leaving one after another. Government boys washed their hands of us, too. Talk about heartless. From there, all eyes were on us. The world was watching our every move. We were at a standstill. And the company's finances dwindled as a result. It was then word broke out among the employees. The Yakuza life was calling them back. I mean, you got former Chairman Daigo up top, and we're right there with him. Ain't hard to see. If we wanted to start things up, we definitely had the means. Among some employees, there were even talks that we were planning to revive the Tojo clan. All sorts of rumors made their way around. The company was in shambles, and in such short time. <laughs> it's a miracle we didn't go sooner. Thanks to the Tatara channel, society wanted nothing to do with us, and those inside started longing for the old days. For their sake, we figured we ought to shove off. They needed a fresh start, and we weren't helping their case. I see. That explains why you're out here. If we really wanted to see the great disillusion through, this was the best way. That's what we concluded, at least. <sighs> I think I get what happened. Do you know Ebina of the Seiryu clan? He took over the great disillusion once you left on the surface. Yes, I know the name. I've never met him, though. Two years ago, we got a tip that he was out looking for us. Two years ago? That was right around when Takabe got locked up. That's right. Ebina replaced Takabe. That's more or less all he's known for. His name alone isn't enough to unite the Yakuza. Not on a grand scale, anyhow. He'd need a few poster boys which is probably why he wanted us. Little did he know, that ship had already sailed. Yeah, that was part of it. However, there was something else that bothered me. Hmm. The man was due for a background check. And what we found was odd, to say the least. Ebina was raised by a single mother. But she died when he was in middle school. Afterward, his family name was changed. He became the Ebina we knew today. But the name he had before... It was Hikawa. Hikawa? Ebina's mother's name is Yuriko Hikawa. She's the Hikawa family patriarch's daughter. Hikawa family? You mean Masumi Arakawa's old family? That Hikawa? Correct. And did you know that Arakawa-san and this Yuriko Hikawa were once engaged? Right. The Patriarch pushed the proposal on him, I'm pretty sure. Yes, but Arakawa-san already had a woman he loved. That was Akane-san. However, despite that fact, he couldn't just go against his own boss's wishes. And so, he kept a relationship with Yuriko-san as well. Now, this brings up a good question. Just who is Ebina's father? You don't mean... This is all just speculation, of course. But Masumi Arakawa may in fact be Ebina's father. 
Ebina is around Kasuga's age, give or take. Even their birth dates are similar. So Kasuga and Ebina... You're saying they could be half-brothers? We told you it was odd, didn't we? But if that's really the case, I can't imagine Arakawa would just abandon his own son. Judging from when Ebina was born, Arakawa-san must not have known about Yuriko's pregnancy. And after the Hikawa family all but collapsed, Yuriko gave birth without a soul knowing. From her perspective, Arakawa not only killed her father, he also abandoned her son, leaving them completely alone. I can only imagine the anger and spite she must have felt. And what if that anger was passed down to Ebina? Ebina does hold a lot of hatred for Arakawa. Exactly. So it's hard to imagine that Ebina would take up Arakawa-san's legacy. The second great disillusion was all the man ever wanted. So you guys kept your silence, and as a result, Sawashira was chosen for the task instead. <sighs> yes, I believe that's the case. Yep, that about wraps it up. But hey, I'm sure you didn't come all this way for story time now, did ya? That's right. Actually, I have a favor I want to ask you. I want you guys to help out Sawashiro. As it turns out, he's trying to fulfill Arakawa's wish too. Bringing about the second great dissolution. Ebina's watching him like a hawk, like he's the Seryu clan's prisoner. If he just had your help, Sawashiro can step up and knock him off his throne. You all started it. The second great dissolution should be yours to finish. I've said it already. There's nothing we can do. Come on. You don't have to like any of it, but at least pay attention. Kill you. Look, they're right. We got no business in the limelight anymore. I mean, sure. It's true we got the power to rally, folks. And we can get them moving, too. We join Sawashiro on stage, and we'll get the attention of every Yakuza in the country. It's called charisma. Nobody's stupid enough to say that for themselves, but... Hell if it ain't true. <laughs> how it goes. Slice it however you want. That's the Yakuza way. The dreams we ended up giving others... They're what keep them coming back. The Yakuza we knew was strong. That Yakuza had money. <sighs> Those dreams ain't worth handing out right now. They need guys who can help them get back into the real world. Way in hell, that's us. Especially not with our recent track record. The moment we learned something was off with Ebina's history, we knew there was a lot to consider. Yes, there's a chance he's taking advantage of the second great disillusion for his own interest. However, if he pulls it off, who are we to interfere? If anything, we should keep our distance. Right. So this is how you're taking responsibility? It is. We'll act as if we don't exist. That's the best we can do. Honestly, even death had its appeal at one point. But if we're dead and gone, our names will just carry on into the future. Kiryu-san, are you aware of what they all say? All those Yakuza. Do you know how they see you? They act like you're some great mythical hero. If we ended up just like you, the illusions of the Yakuza life would be stronger than ever. Just look at your own life. Shintaro Kazuma was everything to you. How'd that turn out? Sawashiro would sacrifice himself to take down Ebina. But that alone won't be enough to save everyone. He's counting on your help. Uh, I'm sorry. Fine. I'll be there for Sawashiro as best I can. You guys can just keep rotting away. Huh? Guess I was wrong.
Hold it! The hell's that supposed to mean? It's just as I said. I was stupid to think coming up here would change anything. Go ahead and run. Just remember that for all your excuses, you still have a job to do. Could you possibly know about what we've been through? You have any idea what it's like? No, I can't say I do. And I wouldn't want to. <sighs> Damn you! <sighs> What's wrong? If you want to fight, don't hold back. Boy, do I hate getting worked up over petty shit like this. Better than sitting around being pissed off, though. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's throw a few punches. For old time's sake. Hey, what's going on? Ain't you guys supposed to be having a nice, friendly chat? Cause, uh, they sure as hell don't look like one. Sorry for the wait. I'll need just a little more time. Quit acting so tough. We're not gonna leave our friend out to dry like that. <laughs> more importantly, if we stay out here any longer, we'll all freeze to death. Hmm. So you've got five on your side now, huh? Suppose that's fine. I'll just have to tag in, too. Ooh, oh shit. How about this? Never thought we'd be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with all three of you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Like you got any business with us. Maybe stay in your fucking lane. <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll try and make this fun. One express trip to hell coming up! Well, that's scary.